okay live video is starting um you guys can't see me but that's okay um i wanted to go through a quick tutorial on a baby scan uh watercolor and affinity designer um i've seen a tutorial out there on photoshop that was shared with me from somebody in the group and so i tested this out in ad and you can accomplish it. Keep in mind, um, this isn't something that I normally do, but it'll get the job done. So I have this watercolor swash here on my computer screen. I do have a folder of these swashes. Um, there's several of them that I bought off of design bundles. Um, and I can post the link for you guys if you're interested in that, just let me know. So I have this in Affinity Designer, you can see that this is on a layer and then I just have a, a white background layer since this isn't in like a Photoshop program. Um, and now I'm just gonna bring a baby scan in from the internet. So I do have a second computer screen open um, and I'm just gonna paste this in. So you'll see this get pasted in. Now, the next step that you're going to do with your baby scan image is you're going to go over to the layers panel and you'll see that there is a bunch of different um, options for this to go in. And personally, when I was going through these, um, in the tutorial I watched, they did screen, uh, which screen doesn't look that bad, but I actually thought overlay looked a little bit better. Um, so you could choose screen um, or overlay depending on what look you're going for. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to choose screen um, because that is what the tutorial called for um, that I had watched, but you can also do overlay as well. Okay, so you're going to have this here and you can lower the opacity a little bit on this too if you want it to be a little bit lower. Um, but I'm just going to keep it at 100% as is. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, um, make sure you have your image selected. You're going to go up and you're going to go to the pixel persona. And when you open this up, you'll have a myriad of tools and, and these are similar to the tools that you're going to see in like a Photoshop based program or affinity photo. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and click on your burn brush tool, which is this little fire icon on the left hand side. And you're going to want to go ahead and bring your width up. And you're going to want to make sure that your hardness is pretty low because you want like a pretty uh, feathered um, look to it and then you're just going to go in and you're going to like feather out these edges um, so I might need to bring the hardness up a little bit more and you can kind of see how that's getting rid of some of these harder edges you could do the same thing um, with the eraser tool as well and that's just going to go in and erase these harder edges so it's a little bit quicker than the burn brush, but you want to play around with both because you're not going to want to take away a lot of that image. But you can see, hopefully, how it's kind of getting rid of that darker background. And then with the hardness being as low as, as it is, you're just making sure that it has that same kind of feathered look as the watercolor splash. So that's really what you would do to get those hard lines out. Um, and really, you don't have to go any further than that, right? So it's a pretty quick thing to do. Um, you want to get your watercolor splash on the background, insert the image here, okay? And then go to your pixel persona after you've edited the image so that you have it on screen or overlay. So again, I'll show you what that looks like at overlay. It's just much darker because it's showing that black background of the baby scan. Um, and that's why the screen uh, works better than the overlay. And then you go to your pixel persona. And again, the eraser tool is uh, probably going to be your best bet to use. And then you just go in and erase it so you don't have those hard, hard edges from the edges of the picture. Make sure that hardness is drop down low. You want your width to be pretty good. Um, and then you would just go ahead and export this as a PNG. So you can go ahead and uh, go to export and you can export it as a JPEG, you can export it as a PNG, uh, whatever you so wish. 
um, and then go ahead and click on export. I'll just go ahead and save this to my desktop really quickly. And then we can go ahead and open this up. Oh, and you can see that I have this uh, PNG, the baby scan. You can print this out. You can sublimate it. You can do like some sort of print and cut on your machine. Um, and it's just like a really cute thing. So somebody requested this. I wanted to hop on after I watched the tutorial and give it a try. It's the first time I've ever done one. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, if you guys are running into any snags while you go through and do this, let me know. I'm happy to try to give you help, but that is how you would go through and do that in Affinity Designer. If you all need anything else, um, don't hesitate to reach out or let me know. And I will catch you all on the next video. Have a great night.